What up, doe homies and homies? It's your home break, Grand Tizzo. And we are back. Or should I say your home man, Grand Tizzo? I ain't a boy no more. I'm a man. We're all men. You know when you're 16, 17, you're a man. You know who? Check it out. Um, this is a speed um, tutorial. Well, actually, it's not a speed tutorial. It's a speed preview of the tutorial to come. Now I have this, I have these sessions over at todaysbeast.com. This particular tutorial is over an hour and a half. And it's a detailed step-by-step -step training tutorial, teaching you a few fundamental aspects of putting together mixtape covers. Now a lot of tutorials I have on here really covers uh, the genre of flyers. And, um, but there's an audience that need to understand the fundamentals of putting together mixtapes. And there's certain styles and there's certain uh, effects that we use. And um, these particular tutorials is really good for, you know, driving home the specific, um, specific uh, tactics that we use to come up with certain styles and things like that. As you see here, you can see a few things where you see that the artwork is cartoonized. And then there's other layer effects that's added to it, like um, artificial lighting, as you see what I'm doing right now. And um, uh, dodging and burning. Dodging and burning is when you uh, take the lighter things and you light it up. And you take the darker things and you darker, darken it up and you add shadows and highlights and depth and things like that. And we get into a lot of specific detail about the mindset of putting together a mixtape. And we talk about proportions and we talk about, um, for example, as you see here, I'm scrolling through looking for buildings. But you may notice uh, very shortly, I'm going to put a perspective on it to give it a perspective. So you see here, I put a perspective and I made it almost kind of like um, a perspective ratio. To give it a little bit of uh, depth and you know um, distance and things like that all right and um, so we, we we talk about levels we talk about using levels um, we talk about uh, overlays and, and using uh, blend modes like uh, for example um, the blue that you see in the orange sky uh, there's a specific technique that we use to be able to actually let that blue blend in with the uh, background sky and we get into detail about that we also get into detail about we talk about um, when you're using different elements you get all these different elements from all over the internet all over the web you know all from all over different places but you want it to all look like they all came from the same place so we talk about that uh, we we'll talk about consistency. Um, those are things that you really don't think about or the average artist don't think about when they're putting together um, these things. I don't really think about it. These are just things that you know in the back of your head. Uh, but you get that because you're an artist. Like I airbrush, I paint. And I'm a professional painter. I'm a pro professional airbrush artist. I'm a realist painter. Um, so I, I, there's a few things that I get. There's a few things that I grasp. And I take that information and I apply it to uh, Photoshop. The good thing about these tutorials, fam, is um, that you learn techniques. You learn how to use the tools to accomplish a specific thing. But we also talk about the analytics of it as well. For example, you may have just seen me um, post up the palm tree. But later I, I realized uh, you shouldn't put a palm tree in the hood. I knew that that was wrong, but I couldn't really find an alternative. So you, you learn critical thinking like, OK, maybe let me do a little bit more research and find a, a real tree. And even when I found a real tree, the real tree, the color just didn't match. So we talk about that, how to blend different colors and color scheme and, you know, how to go to your levels and uh, adjust your ratios and adjust your um, color balance so that the trees can blend in with the hood a little bit more you notice if you look you see that the trees is a little bit more diluted color wise uh, we purposely take colors and pop it so you may see how i took his vest and i made his vest a little bit more teal as opposed to his original vest i made the other suit darker so we talk a little bit about that. We talk about um, grabbing these fluorescent or should I say these uh, lens flares 
and how to use the proper blend mode to give it a realistic light feel. How the light glows is, is wrapping around Rick Ross head behind the sun. We created the sun. That's not a real sun. We just created a white circle and we put a glow around it. But there's certain blend modes and there's certain um, blends that you will want to use to be able to make those colors look and pop and make them more realistic. We also get into detail about fonts, font styles, font sizes. It's important to have a proportional and a reasonable proportional size font so that it won't overcrowd and overshadow your artwork altogether that you actually put into your CD cover. And then last but not least, we talk about color scheming, um, taking specific colors and um, theming out your CD so that it's, uh, it's attractive and it's appealing. And we use colors, color combinations, complementary colors, and then contrasting colors. For example, if you look, you'll see that we kind of primarily in the oranges, but the complementary color of orange is green. And then the highlighted or the accent color of that could be pink or purple. Or should I say pink is the contrasting color of green. And if you look, you see a little bit of the car behind um, Young Dirk is, uh, is kind of pinkish or purplish, light purple with, uh, with the green. And, um, and you know that green and, uh, and, and orange is contrasted too. So you learn these different color schemes and you apply it to your artwork and it just makes it pop a little bit. It just give it a little bit of vibe. So anyway, that's that. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you and make sure you uh, log in to todaysbeats.com if you want to see the uh, full detail about this particular session. And then we have several other sessions as you see um, the tutorial, or should it, should I say, I mean, should I say you just saw the Rick Ross boss, um, DVD cover. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you benefit from it. And if you want to learn more, make sure you log into www.todaysbeats.com. Till the next time. See you in a minute. See you in a minute. Pills knees, big boy. Yeah. yeah.